with the Russian Navy's sole aircraft carrier. The Admiral Kuznetsov, currently undergoing a lengthy refit, it has recently been revealed that alongside an overhaul of its propulsion and weapon systems the 65,000 ton warship will also field a new complement of fighters, the MiG-29 KR twin engine medium weight jets. The Kuznetsov's long troubled steam turbine power and plant is set to be replaced entirely, while new weapon systems will include Panzer M point defense systems, capable of engaging enemy aircraft and missiles with considerable accuracy at short and intermediate ranges, and an P-800 Onyx cruise missiles. These anti-ship platforms retain an over-the-horizon firing range of 600 km and are travel at two and a half times the speed of sound with fire and forget capabilities and formidable electronic countermeasures. While its capabilities as a carrier leave much to be desired relative to rival platforms such as the US Nimitz class or upcoming Chinese Type 002. The Kuznetsov may well be the most heavily armed carrier with the most firepower in the world for a warship of its kind. Fitting in with its role as a heavy aircraft carrying carrier cruiser rather than a pure carrier. Formerly deploying approximately 20 MiG-29K fighters alongside a dozen of the heavier Su-33 flanker air superiority fighters. The new refitted warship will deploy a formidable complement estimated at 40 MiG-29KR aircraft alongside supporting rotary wing craft such as the Kamov Ka-27. The new MiG-29K variant will make use of a number of next-generation technologies including new electronic warfare suites, radar absorbent materials which reduce its signature by approximately 78%. New infrared search and track systems and new heavily specialized anti-ship standoff munitions. Nevskoy Design Bureau Chief Sergei Orlov stated regarding the capabilities of the new fighters some adjustments will be made precisely to accommodate MiG-29K MiG-29 Cub aircraft. Pilots want something new, something better and more reliable. Actually, the entire aircraft and technical compound of shipborne systems will be modernized. Some MiG-29KR jets were reportedly tested on board the warship during operations in Syria. While the Su-33 is a considerably superior fighter in terms of its capabilities, there are a number of key factors which have led the Russian Navy to choose the lighter MiG-29K to modernize its air wing. Not only are the flankers poorly optimized to deploying using the Kuznetsov's ski jump system, performing at a fraction of their potential as a result. But the considerable cost of producing more Su-33 fighters to fulfill a small order for just a dozen or so new jets would be extremely expensive. By contrast not only is the lighter MiG-29K well suited to operating from a ski jump, the role for which it was primarily designed, but the fighter can be produced in larger numbers which significantly reduces the already far lower unitary costs. The jets are already in production for export for the Indian Navy's own carrier warships, the Inzvikrant and Inzvikramaditya. Nevertheless, a number of reports indicate that the Russian Navy is planning to potentially retain a small contingent of refurbished Su-33 jets for continued operations from the Admiral Kuznetsov, possibly two retain the services familiarity with operating carrier-based air superiority fighters in preparation for the planned induction of navalized Su-57 variants on board planned future carriers. The new MiG-29K jets, though lacking the specialization and high-performance airframes of the Su-33, will not only be less costly to operate, but will also be far more versatile and able to perform both air defense air-to-ground and anti-shipping roles to support the Admiral Kuznetsov's own arsenal, the new KH-35UC skimming cruise missiles, in service since 2015 and retaining a 300km standoff range, will allow the MiG-29 jet to complement the firepower of the Kuznetsov's P-800 missiles in ship-to-ship -ship engagements, while also being capable of striking land-based targets deep into enemy territory from a safe distance. The KH-31, 
a Mac 3.5 platform with a lower but still considerable standoff range of approximately 100 kilometers, will also make the MiG 29K lethal as a ship killer and a strike platform. With Russia's carrier strike group relying heavily on surface to air missile batteries to engage enemy missiles and aircraft, Marines and fighter jets. The MiG 29K R strongly reflects this in its capabilities by more heavily emphasizing strike rather than air to air combat roles.